Hello everybody, welcome back to the episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and this time we are gonna go as... Let's do Tainted Maggie. I know we've only got one more completion mark to get as her, but I found her a really fun character and we're just gonna give it a go, uh, seeing if we can... This is unfortunately kind of a crap room here. Um, we're just gonna see if we can give it a go at running... Um, we'll get a room reward clear at least, or not. Um, see if we can give a go at, uh, trying out and doing Delirium. That's the only thing we've got left, which is always kind of a weird one to go for, um, if it's the only one you've got left, because normally I feel like Delirium's one of those ones that you always do, like, as an addition to something else, whereas now it's like, we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to kind of slightly try and force it, uh, through doing Hush, if we want. Um, we do start with an extra heart as this character, as well as the, um... What's it called? Trinket. The boss trap room and mob trap room trinket. So, got some pretty good stuff going on here. I'm gonna keep on smacking those guys. Smick, smack, smick, smack. And yeah, we start with an extra heart, which I actually think is a really nice addition to this character, because it's th this character can be a little rough to start out with, so getting the heart trinket. It's also good that it's not, this, um, not the trinket that's uh, smelted, because I feel like it'd be a bit powerful if that if it, that was the case. Now you've got to kind of decide, make that difficult decision between a different trinket that could be better, or keeping that extra heart. I suppose it depends sort of when you end up getting extra items and stuff later on. As for the question of the day, what's your favourite- Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, the speed down's bad, but I think uh, the extra HP will be pretty good. Um, what's your favourite remake or remaster? I've recently been playing um, the Risk of Rain 2 remake. Uh, do you know what? I'll just pop it in here, see if we get a crawl space. Um, I've been playing the Risk of Rain 2, uh, sorry, Risk of Rain 1 remake even, and I really like it. I mean, it's definitely got a little bit of an issue. Um, well, first of all, 20% chance to gain an extra item charge on clearing a room. Yes. We're, like, giving away a heart for a golden version of this. If if a golden version of this works, let's be honest. I don't know if it will. Um, but that could be very, very good. 40% chance to get an extra item charge could be real, real good. So we'll, uh, we'll play this as if it does work and hope for the best. I love the fact that each segment of those bodies counts as an individual enemy killed. But this is what I mean about starting with a trinket like that. Like, it's, it's it's so easy to want to swap it, like, straight away sometimes. So it's not always the massive advantage that you sort of think it is. You think, oh, that's a really powerful starting trinket. It's like, it is, but you might not want to keep it. There's, there's, there's so many things that could come up that would make you want to drop it. Grab that real quick. We got you. We got you. We got ourselves the rose, which is good for a bit of fire rate. Of course, one thing with this character is we do want to make sure that once we get sort of past womb, we're not just doing hug damage because otherwise you have issues. Unless you have um, something that's going to mean you don't take as much damage in that way. There you go. We got double uh, double charges there. An extra soul heart as well. Extra soul heart. It's lovely. Obviously, we don't really care about preserving Devil Deal here. Um, because we're gonna go, um, Angel Deal anyways, but I guess I could try and preserve my Soul Hearts at least a little bit. Um, it's not a bad thing to do. Our Soul Hearts do slowly fade, but it is much, much slower than our Red Hearts, so in that regard, we're pretty much okay. Okay, that was, oh, I was gonna say that was close and immediately got hit by it anyways. You're not gonna fire off your tail, are you? Thank you. Okay. Slightly annoying room here. You're releasing all of these goddamn flies all over the place. I can't be asked. I just want to run into things. It's so much easier. I want to keep my soul hearts alive, trust me, but it's just so much more hassle. Oh, really? You had to go for the middle one, didn't you? You had to go for the middle one. Why? This guy's been a nuisance. Let's do the boss now while we can. Good old Widow. It's the annoying Widow, though. This version of Widow could be a right pain. Luckily, this version of Widow drops enemies that we can pretty easily take out. Um, with hugs. But there you go. Nice and easy on this one. Grab the hearts while we can. We've still got a full soul heart here. We got a lot of money out of that for some reason. I'm going to get some of these hearts as well. Right, let's try and quickly... Oh my god, our eyes. Look at them. Look at them. 
But yeah, it's, it's been it's been weird with Risk of Rain because I've never played the first one before, and you can it's it's even though the remaster's really good, like the um I won't even say a remaster, it's more of a remake than a remaster. Even though it's really good, you can clearly sort of feel the um the fact that like it's of the time when it was made, sort of thing. Doubles all trinket spawns. Nah, we don't need that. We got a gold trinket already. We'll just take the compass and be happy with it. Um, you can you can feel that it's an older game. There's some things that the game does, like especially in control scheme, that I'm really not a fan of, and it's taken me quite a bit to get used to. Unfortunately, we've got a mega pot in here and no way to take advantage. Uh, we we only have one bomb, and we need I think five to get there. We need one to get through to it, and then four to blow it up. So. I don't think we're going to get the chance to uh, take advantage of the mega pot there, which is a shame because they are pretty cool. Good, good. Eden's Blessing, not bad. Although, for some reason, I don't think Eden's Blessing works for me. Like, the last few times that I've used Eden's Blessing, like, get, been given Eden's Blessing, obviously it gives me the fire out bonus, which is nice, but on the next run, I don't get an additional item. So maybe being on a new PC, that's changed. Uh, it might be in a bug mod install or something. But you never know. We've got a boss trap room there. Obviously, we're not going to go for that. Mob trap rooms, we will go for though, because we've got this um, mum's tattoo. I can't remember what, exactly what mum's tattoo does. I know it's valuable to us. And we will head down to the next floor. Try and keep these hearts alive so we can get an angel deal if plausible. Um, but it's not always going to work the way we want it to. Unfortunately, we've got an XL floor here, which I'm not particularly enthused by. I probably shouldn't have taken that eternal heart either, because now I can't even hug if I wanted to. That was a bit stupid of me. It significantly weakens us. It significantly weakens us, but it is what it is. Okay, these guys I hate. Just keep our distance. We can we can be all right. I've oh, got two chests. So that's pretty good. Uh, that's actually potentially decent if we've got a bunch of stuff over pits and stuff later on. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, I'm probably not going to be able to keep this angel deal slash eternal heart alive, let's be honest. It's it's already gone. It's all... It's all gone to shit, people. It's all gone to shit. Oh, wait. Do you not lose angel deal on your um, on your fading hearts? Okay, I'm a mug. I, I completely forgot about that. I've been thinking about this all wrong. Definitely my bad on the... Um, on the, the front of utilising... The Eternal Heart, I will say. That was very, very silly of me. I would like a key, please, game, if you could afford me that. That'd be nice. Lovely. Yeah, more red hearts would be nice, but eh, we're in we're in for what we're in for, it's fine. What I what I really would like now is uh, a bit of a speed upgrade to accommodate for the speed we lost. Um, that would be rather nice. And an on hit effect is always good. Bit of bit of milk of Baphomet would, would really would really do me just right. Good old Milk of Baphomet. That would be a blessing, that would. Random, one HP up and random on hit effect every single time you get hit. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. We did get a key, obviously. Good, good, good. Um, we get Botfly, which, eh, it's pretty decent. It's not going to save us a ton, but on the hush fight and stuff, maybe it'll... Maybe it'll do us a sound uh, sound job. We'll see. We will see. All right. Hey, there's our extra key. Good, good. I've right, got to go through this room. Oh, this is going to be easy peasy. Lovely. We're getting extra charges like all the time here. Right. Item room. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wait a minute. Hold up. Hold the fern. Is this as powerful as I think it is? It might be. Okay, no. It's not quite as insane as I thought it would be. I had a feeling it was going to make every single half heart into a blended heart. It only works for full hearts. That is more than fair. Let's be honest. That is more than fair. But it's still a very, very powerful item that makes you near invincible. Extra damage is absolutely lovely. We'll do this guy as well. Not gonna 
go jumping into this guy. He's very small. It's 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 funny to see someone so small be so chonky. He is the churd of uh, Isaac enemies. Oh lord. Yeah, Botfly, thank you for uh for handling that for me. Stupid of me getting hit there. There's a nice HP up. There's a good angel deal as well. Picking up hearts, that's very, very nice. That works really, really well for us. Um, anything else we want to do this floor realistically? Let's just think about this. I don't think there is, really. I could try and go get a key, I guess, but I think we'll just carry on, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with our setting right now, our setup. It's, it's, it's good stuff. We got, we got some good, good stuff going on. Um, Immaculate Conception, as long as it works with these hearts, which I very much imagine it does, um, it's very, very good for us. Um, plus the, whatever the other item's called that gives us the, the half sort of the blended hearts on every full red heart. Oh, can we, can we like move away from the gap so I can actually kill you pricks? Thank you. Hello. In fact, I should, I should really realistically wait until I have a, um, a, a charge of my active item to be fucking around with that. Let's be honest. I can get charged with my active item so easily. God damn, I hate this enemy so much. <laughs> good, good. Let's do two taps in you. Come back over here. A few of you are going to say I'm just going to burn yourself to death, aren't you? I kind of saw that one coming. Okay, you see, I don't know what even happened there with that blended heart. It just kind of summoned out of nowhere. We also got Holy Water already, so you can see how this is going to scale pretty quickly. Holy Water is a really good one to get as well, actually. I wasn't expecting a Holy Water. Um, right. Boom, boom, boom. There you go, Void Egg. Picking up red hearts um, while this item is uncharged will instead charge it. Okay. We we might we might have something real special going on right now. We might have something real special. Unfortunately, we did get a very annoying room, but it's taken care of. Ooh, ooh, um, hmm. Okay, maybe we don't have something special going on because it pr it does the charge before the heal. Which is obviously very, very problematic. Heartworm. Tears accelerate and decelerate. Um, okay, that's kind of interesting. So we don't want to use this active item right now. Later down the line, it might be kind of useful. But while we're meleeing, it's not good. While we are meleeing, it is not the right choice for us. But I like the idea for later. I think that's going to be a lot of fun for us. I like it. I like it. One second. Boys. Alexa just messaged me and said the Gungeon episode is on. Hell yes. We, we planned to do a Gungeon episode like fucking ages ago. Uh, we, we, we'd been chatting for a while when he, when he was doing Gungeon on his YouTube channel. We planned to do this Gungeon video and our schedules just never lined up and it never happened. And he's just messaged me and said, let's fucking go. So sneak peek for any of you watching. Sneak peek. Let's go ahead. It's going to be good stuff. Good fun. Righty her. One second. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in this void egg for later on, but right now it's it's not it's not what we're looking for, is it? Because I thought it would heal us and then charge, which would have been great. Um, ooh, hello. Oh, that's I don't know, I don't know about this. Much higher fire rate, but lower damage. It's not that much lower damage though. Yeah, it, it, that 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 lower that much lower damage isn't isn't that big of a deal. Let's not worry about that. Also, the speed increases is something that I've been looking for as well. Beautiful. Yeah, some... Oh! It's... It's whenever it spawns a baby, it gives me one of those hearts. Interesting. One second. 
just arranging a date. Haha, <laughs> going on a little dirty date. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. It's going to be fun. I haven't done Gungeon in ages as well. I do apologize to everyone. I love myself some Gungeon, but... Doing it, basically, my, my biggest issue with, for, for any of you that even care, I don't know how many of you actually watch my Gungeon series, but for those of you that, that have been missing it and wondering why it's been gone, basically, I've been doing Gungeon on my channel for years. Like, literally the entire time my channel's been going, I've always done Gungeon. Um, and uh, that means that, obviously, it's a, much, it's a game that I'd get tired of easily. Uh, or much easier, should I say, not easily. But the biggest problem has been that, like, my most enjoyable times over the past sort of months on uh, Gungeon has been recording with Never Named. And he's not been able to do that as of late. And playing on my own was just getting very boring. Also, the game takes so long to load. Although I haven't tried it on my new PC yet, so maybe I'll, I'll set that up tonight and give it a go. Maybe I'll set that up and give it a go. One sec. I'm going to be pausing a little bit back and forth here. Hopefully it's not too annoying. I apologize. Oh god. I wasn't expecting brimstony boys. Okay, lovely little heart there. Right, let's get on to our boss. Let's get on to our boss. And see what we can do. See what boss we get. I gotta say, I really want to use this egg, but... Until I stop meleeing things, it's not its not really going to be the best idea, I don't think. Oh, it's Blur. For some reason, I thought this was Mumflor. I really wasn't expecting to see Blur here. Now, that was perfect. You see that Holy Water into Bomb play? Just happened accidentally. It was beautiful. And then here we got... Ooh, baby. This is tricky. This is tricky. Obviously, Stairway is just so much better. I think I'll take Stairway because it's potentially better, like, overall. Um, I'll give this guy a bomb as well. Why not? Why not? Let's try and get you on a fire, shall we? Is your hitbox been fixed on those beams yet? Having a kind of a hard time with you. I kind of only wanted to kill you to get my, uh, my Yum Heart charge. Hasn't been worthwhile at all. Holy water doesn't even affect you. I suppose technically, you are an angel. There's no real reason holy water should damage you anyways. Like, I feel like that's fair enough. Damn it, I should have saved that. I was hoping it'd be a normal beggar that I could kill. Right, now we've just got to go and make sure that we have 15 cent at least going down to the next floor. So, as much as it pains me to spend a key on a single penny, for stairway, I'll make an exception. There's also a penny up here as well. I'm going to be going down to the next floor with pretty low HP, actually. Um, a little bit spicy. There you go. We've got 15 cent at least. It's not perfect. We might get a 30 cent item in there, but... It's at least enough to buy something if there's a 15 cent item. I'd rather not go in there completely empty handed. Right. Let's go. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about my HP going down to this next floor. But we'll make it work, we'll make it work. Try Sagian, I will take. Oh, I can't get in there without a goddamn key. I do like some Trisagian, though. And hopefully our Yum Heart will charge up nice and speedy, so we don't have to worry about that. I, haven't, I feel like I haven't had Trisagian in goddamn ages. I feel like it's been forever since I used this item. I do really like it. It's a, it's a very fun item. That did what? What? That didn't give me a single heart. I meleeed him to death. What the hell, game? What kind of bullshit's this? Okay, play it safe, play it safe. Because at the minute, I'm not playing it safe. Oh, for God's sake. Really with this shit? Really? Hey, we got a Seraphim, baby. Okay, you're just going to smack me. That's fine, I can deal with it. Okay, where are you going? 
I can push him away, it's fine. Yum heart charge. Okay, health is looking good now. Uh, okay, this is actually not as bad because I don't need to unlock them. That's more of a trap than anything. But apparently, no, I do need to unlock them. He's just such a shit. Apparently, this enemy is getting reworked at some point, though. I've heard. Get away from me. Ooh, that's nice. 50% chance on damage to get a Nightmare Familiar. They, uh... They can be pretty interesting. And I've never actually had this item in a situation in which it's valuable at all, so... I'm kind of excited to be able to somewhat utilize this. Can these heads stop lagging the hell out of my game, please? Thank you, thank you. We are going to need more money. Although the Nightmare dudes do seem to just die on hit, so... BFF. Okay, this is... This is tricky. I definitely want BFF, because I've got a lot of familiars right now. I've got a Golden Penny. That's, that's very nice, at least. Right, there you go. We got a decent amount of money now. Not quite 30 cent, but it's enough. It's enough. And yeah, we just got another familiar, I think. I'm not even sure what we got there. So we've got... We've got three at the minute. Um... Oh, for fuck... Man! Can people stop making these fucking stupid rooms? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting angry. But these rooms are just dumb. I don't... I don't see why they have to exist. With all the stupid little blocks that you can't walk past. No. They're just silly. <laughs> they just make me depressed. I got another black heart again. Does that mean I got another familiar? I think I did, yeah. Eternal heart there. Oh, we can't come back for it, unfortunately. I'll hold it and try and keep it, but... I say try. Oh, I've got the holy water synergy. What's that? Oh, is that the BFF synergy? I think that's the BFF synergy. Kind of forgot that existed. We got small rock out of that as well. Unfortunately, there's a speed down, but such is life. Um, doesn't really matter which one of these we take. So I guess we take the negative for damage. Um, I will pop in here, considering we've got Stairway. Neither of those are very good for me. I'll check Boss Rush in case there's a really, really good item for us. Guillotine's pretty decent. Pop is kind of interesting. Planetoid is scary. I don't think there's any of those we want to take, really. Right. Good, good. Right, so let's go. Let's go. Right, now we can use our egg a little bit more, I think. Stairway. Hello, hello. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yes, okay. We are ready. We are ready. And we've actually got a, a reasonably decent shooting build. Like, it's not the best ever, but it's reasonable. I suppose what I could do is uh, heal my hearts... Heal my hearts with, um, with Yum Heart. Power my egg with, uh, with Red Hearts off the floor. I think is, is a fair, a fair way of doing this. Yeah, yeah, you spew up shots, I get it. It's a really cool item to have, actually, with, uh, with this setup. Cool, okay. Not a big fan of this scenario. Okay, I think I've got to shoot them to put them back away. Got him. Cool. Shouldn't have taken that hit there. That was a little bit stupid. But it's fine. Our luck, unfortunately, isn't very good because some of the on-hit effects we have to do scale with luck. What a nickel. Don't think so. Oh, they just die. Okay, I see. 
They just die. I think we've got a, a really good amount of health now, though, at least. Oh, I didn't see you little buggers. Get out of here. Extension cord? It's good, but our trinket, th this is like one of the best golden trinkets I've ever seen. Right, I don't know how we're going to do against Delirium, but we've got, we've still got items to go until then. Good stuff. That's good. That's good. We've got 15 cents, so let's go. We need to make sure we have 15 cents again for the next floor, realistically. This is a tricky one. Um, I don't even have a bomb. Okay, I could have maybe bought both. I'll take the random one. Okay, Prosperity is broken as shit, so I am going to remove it, but, um, Prosperity. But I am going to re-add all of my familiars as duplicates, so, give Botfly, give Seraphim. Give Guardian Angel. How else do you spell it? Angel. What are we waiting on? Uh, we need to do give Holy Water. And then there's one other one as well. What's the other dude that's that's flying around our face? Um, give Angel. No, we got Guardian Angel. What the hell's the other angel that's flying around us called? Let me go find out. Um, Isaac Guru, to the, to the rescue. Use Isaac Guru's website. What the hell is it called? Sworn Protector, there you go. Sworn... Sworn Protector. I got conjoined for that as well. So, I think that's everything. Is there anything else in there that I need to duplicate? No, I think I think we're good. Okay, that was that was good stuff. Nice. Okay, so we have double of all of these bad boys now. That's fun. Uh right, now now is the time to make sure we get enough money for next floor as well. We also need two more keys, ideally. But I think we're going to be fairly well protected. When it comes to uh, shots hitting us, considering we've got BFF and this mess going on. I think this is, uh, mean, meaning shots probably can't hit us too well. If not, maybe literally can't at all. I'm not entirely sure, but it feels like the potential for us to just not be able to be hit at all now. Uh, don't think we need that. Double Holy Water is also really nice. You just gotta remember if I get another familiar to spawn it in, because like I said, Prosperity just doesn't work. Like, well, it, it does, but it's really glitchy. It can cause some really weird issues. Oh, we got the Relic. Give Relic the Relic. We got two Relics now as well. I think that's our fifth familiar, so I think from now on we just get Eternal Hearts on payouts. Come on, I need a bomb so I can blow up those machines. I need more money. Where's all my drops at? Got an item here, I wasn't expecting that. The mark, lovely. Lovely stuff, was not expecting that at all. Good stuff. Right, let's go. Ah, fuck. Good stuff. I'm, I'm liking this run a lot. It's, it's a weird one, but it's got, it's got some, it's got some sort of style to it. It's got some personality. For some reason, it's not spawning Eternal Hearts. I think it should be. Oh, wait, no, was that the relic that spawned verse? It might be the relic, actually, that spawned verse. I forget it affects every heart that drops. Oh. 
How have I managed to spend a penny? When, when, when did that happen? Oh, I went into that room and touched all the chaos pennies, didn't I? My bad. Right. Let's move back. And blow these machines up, hoping. Hoping for a lot of money, but knowing I'll get fucking nothing. Ah, oh, that was not bad. That was not bad. I gambled on that and it didn't work. Yes, baby! Okay, we're two pennies away from buying something. I feel I feel like I've achieved something. Truly. This is such a weird run. We need a bit more, like, actual damage. That's what we're missing right now. Our actual damage is... It's not bad, but it's kind of low. That's not two pennies at all, you fool. I need two pennies. I've already told you this game. How how dare you not listen to my exact demands? You know that's not how Isaac YouTubing works, right? Lovely extra hearts there as well. So unfortunately we are two pennies down right now. And there's not much we can do about it. So we just gotta kind of hope for the best. We've got enough keys though. That's good. In fact, actually, we'll be able to open the chest and probably get enough money anyways. So I don't know what I'm worrying about. Got ourselves our angel deal here. Lovely. Page of Virtue. Isn't that just a permanent wisp? Down we go. Okay, I think actually that's not bad. I think I think we're doing okay here. Right, so there'll be a stairway in here, right? Yeah, but we can get a bit of money out of these first, right? Or hopefully. There we go. That's what we're looking for, baby. Pop up here. See what's what. Don't think that does anything for us on this floor. I guess I take the mitre. It's not... Amazing for us. Parasite is potentially a laggy mess and I love it. That's just incredibly strong. <laughs> With Parasite, it's going to be even worse as well. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm ready. This is going to be just a disaster, I think. And the Holy Water is already doing a very good job of killing this guy. You stay away, big boy. Yeah, Holy Water's gonna do a nice, nice job of making sure this guy stays well within his, uh... Well within his own side of the room sort of thing. Now, I'm s one thing I'm curious of is, um, Eve's nail polish isn't working the way I thought it would. I thought it'd be absolutely ludicrous with this and give us insane fire rate. It's not really doing that. It's not really doing that. But we are killing reasonably quickly. Must be something to do with it being not tears. Maybe it just doesn't account for that. You're sitting right on top of the fire, my guy. I do just kind of want to sit there and see if I can actually get hit. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can just kind of sit here and be fine. Make sure all my shots are hitting and then just kind of chill. Oh, no, I can, I can be hit, apparently. He managed to sneak one through. But the double bot fly plus the, all the dudes spinning around me. I didn't think it was going to happen. But yeah, I don't know how well we, how ready we are for Delirium, but I guess we'll see. I don't know how I'm not getting hit by any of these guys, but... It don't matter if it's as long as it's working. It's not as fast as a kill as I would have hoped, but it's quick enough. It's quick enough. But just this spooling mass of craziness. Wild. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm backlogging some recordings at the minute because I am a Call of Duty fiend and the new one comes out in like 12 hours, pretty much. Almost 12 and a half hours, so I'll be waking up at 5am to play it. I'm a sad, sad person. But I really enjoy it, so I don't care. I'm, n I'm not going to feel bad about enjoying things I enjoy. I know that Call of Duty has become a, a husk of what it used to be and basically just a money-sucking, soulless corporation, but eh. I still, fi I still find fun in the game, so... I don't feel bad about it. I mean, they get to have a game that I can just tear my brain off and play it all weekend. That's what I'm looking for. I do it every year with, like, the new Call of Duty, unless it's, like, particularly bad. But this one, I, I played the beta. I enjoyed it. So, I'm just going to sit down and play the hell out of it. Right. You are pretty much dead. That was very, very easy for me. Lovely stuff. Okay. Get me to the void, baby. Get me to the void. I forgot there was going to be a stairway here as well. Shit. <laughs> That's a very, very good, um, good item as well. I mean, I got a, a luck upgrade out of here, I guess. Damn. <laughs> I guess I'll take this. Because why, why, why not? How did I not get any of those hearts? That was just straight up rude game. Oh god. It's this boss. There's nail shots coming out of me as periodically. I have legitimately no idea where they're coming from. It's very confusing. Where are the nails coming from here? Does anyone know? What familiar do I have? I, I was like, buddy in a box? I don't have buddy in a box. Oh, it must be my, uh, my wisp. It must be my wisp. The only thing I can think of, I've got a wisp that fires nails. Right. Oh, we're killing stuff pretty fast, even bosses going down pretty quick. We've got a lot of healing on our back as well. Time for some bosses. <laughs> it's just covering the entire screen. I love it. I don't even know what these guys really do. And we'll never know. Stay away from me, big boys. Good, good, good. Oh, I'm hoping a few of the items we get here will really push us over the edge. I don't think this could be delirium. It's blue baby, though. That's not ideal. I thought it could only be bosses that you'd fought that appeared here. Or, no, that's just the actual delirium forms, isn't it? These bosses can be any bosses. It's going to be kind of a rough fight, though. It's going to take a while. Like, just because he's got crazy boss armor, we've got low damage. Like, once the boss armor's gone, because it fades away slowly, he's actually going to die pretty quick. But you can see, like, look at the amount of damage we're doing right now. It's, like, nothing. And then watch it, watch like in a second, it'll speed up massively the amount of damage we deal. There he goes into his last phase already. The same for every phase though, so we've got like a little bit of a waiting period before we can start dealing real damage. I'm really just hoping we get like one single damage up that's gonna push us over the edge, make our fight a little bit faster. I'm trying to make 120 volt do some zapping. It's not much extra damage, but it's something. That don't do a lot for us, but hey her. Again, it's something. It's good.
What are you? Forsaken? What, what's, what's this boss called? Forsaken, I think. I can't remember. Gimpy's good. Gimpy's very good. Gimpy could save our life. Little old horn. Gemini's fine, I guess. It's nothing special. I'll go do this boss up here, even though I'm, I'm maybe thinking this one might be delirium. We're not in a great spot for the boss, but I think we're in an okay spot. It's going to take a while is the biggest problem. And, I and our health fades over time. That's, that's my biggest issue. Getting hit and stuff, I'm actually not that worried about. My god, this guy is tanky. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I got whipped, I see. Very confusing. The floor in there was very confusing. Okay, this wasn't our boy. Spider mod. I mean, it's kind of nice to have, but... <laughs> Again, not what I'm looking for. We do need to duplicate, give, gem and I, give, um, spider mod. Is there any other familiars that we've forgotten to duplicate? We'll just take a little look. Mother's spine, give, mother's spine. Any others? I think that's it. Cool. We are this absolute train of familiars right now. <laughs> it's uh, pretty. It's pretty scary to see. There's like just mass of creatures. Oh, we've got some extra hearts here. I didn't know about. Lovely. Okay, we've only got two bosses left. Makes our life a little bit easier in terms of where we're going. Don't like this. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that was coming. Grab the hearts when I can. And is it two bosses this way? Yeah. Both the soul hearts there, lovely. Some of the rooms are just like so easy, and other ones are really hard. I think it's the modded ones that are hard. There's Delirium, here he is. So we actually come into this on the highest possible HP, which is good. There is two of the boss, which is annoying. I don't know when I'm going to use Yum Heart exactly. Oh, I just... Got a bunch of hearts for some reason. Gimpy there, thank you. Gimpy's actually giving us full red hearts here because of the uh, item that makes everything into half hearts. That's actually better. We got chance to get hearts on kill, chance to get hearts on kill from Gimpy, and chance to get full hearts on hit, and chance to get invincibility on hit. We've got a lot of good stuff going for us here. I think we'll be fine with the amount of HP we've got. I think we'll be fine. Also, it's pretty hard for projectiles to damage us. Not impossible, but pretty hard. We're going to have a slightly rough time. I should get a few red hearts there off of a boss that I killed, apparently. Anything that spawns stuff is actually kind of great for us. Just more hearts on the floor. We're actually dealing damage even faster than I expected as well. Don't like when it does this where it spawns two bosses. So which one's the real delirium boss? Where you at, boy? Oh, you're a mumfuck, that's where you're at. You're not anywhere, you're up you're up in the sky. The freezing has been super nice. I'm liking holy water a lot. That's where we do our big damage. 
I tried to bomb there, but it's not super plausible with this setup. Again, the freezing coming in clutch. Got to try and hit Holy Water whenever I can. I'm trying to get every single familiar involved. There you go. Use Holy um, Yum Heart there. I think we're pretty much done here. Beautiful stuff. Oh, wait, what? Uh, excuse me? Don't fucking tell me you're back at full HP. What the fuck happened to your HP? Excuse me, boy. I mean, it's going down really quick, but I'm very, very confused by exactly what happened to your HP bar there, because it was literally empty. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> that was a bit cheeky. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. That's one character fully complete. Every single completion mark done. That's our first, I think that's our first full completed character. There you go. Set out to do Delirium, and we did it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.